Hello, gang of YouTube. Colin here. I'm supposed to do this, right? This is what we all do. Yeah, YouTube pipe community. So. Pipes. Bought them. Not supposed to buy them. Said I wasn't going to buy them. You can all hear yourself saying that right now, can't you? Bought them. Um. By um, I mean the plural form, not one, two. So I guess it's appropriate for me to do that. Anyhow, they're over there. Let's start with this. Fragile. This is probably Flemish Fragile. This is from Estate Pipes, Belgium. I believe Francois Dal, D-A-L, is the gentleman's name. His pipes are fantastic. He has some classics, mostly all classics, that I like. I got this one. I liked this one. I got a great price for it. I probably spent more than I wanted. I spent more than I, or less than I should have. So, fragile. See the fragile? I guess the American postal system can't read fragile. Oh, wait, it says fragile. Maybe they thought it meant agile. Oh, this must fly well. Let us throw it down. It's agile. See, it says it right there, agile. See it? My light is shitty today. All right, so let's cut it open. Let's show you it, okay? I watched this one for a while. It went through two cycles of buy it now, or of, uh, of auctioning. It didn't get any bids the first time. And then, of course, when I was like, ah, I'm going to buy it this time, someone has to bid on it other than me. Driving the price up far more than I'd hoped. It is what it is. It is eBay. I understand that. Yet another uh, note from uh, Francois. With some little gifts inside. Um, so, that being said, I'm going to show you this and then move on to the real prize of all of this. Ooh. This one's in a pouch. I don't think I've gotten one in a pouch before. I always check with him because he always puts treats inside. And by treats, I mean like 30 and 40 year old aged tobaccas. Tobaccas. Fragile. Or Flemish for fragile. JF Germain and Son, Germain's Mixture Number 7. Guess what year that's from? Can you read that on there? 1990. 1990. I was 18 years old, just entering the United States Army in 1990. Jermaine's Mixture Number 7. Pretty freaking cool. Pretty cool with that guy. Thanks, Francois, if you're out there on YouTube Funland. This is a Stanwell. I do not own a Stanwell. This is my first one. Why did I buy this one? Because I like to kind of explain the craziness or the thought process that goes into my purchase of my pipes. This one is designed by Sixton. I'm going to say it as an American would say it. Iverson. I'm going to bet it's Iverson. Or something along those lines. Something far more fancy than my Eastern Shore of Maryland white boy accent can do. I saw it. I liked it. I purchased it. It's in two pieces. Not broken because it's fragile and wrapped, that wrapped well. Ooh, I'm moving slowly. I gotta speed it up because I definitely want to talk about the next one a lot too and I don't want to go to two hours on this video. So here is my stem. So this is a Sixton Everson designed Stanwell. There she is. Everson, Iverson. Evarson. I don't know. You smart pipe guys can tell me. I love this. It's a Stanwell Sterling Silver. Uh, 124 is the design number. It is absolutely immaculate. Nothing coming out of that. I'll put that right in my mouth. Don't even care. Maybe I'll get some lip fungus. I will clean that up. So, pipe number one. Beauty. Classic. Nice size bowl. Watch, I'll finger it. Wait, I should do the thing first and then go. Pow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Inside. Spotless. 
spotless. Love it. Love it. Stanwell Sterling. So it's got that on there as well. Now, next up. A while back, I watched a video from a guy who I haven't seen in a while. You know him. I know him as, I believe, Wisdom Junkie, who is philosophizing. Like that word? I'm going to make up some more. Maybe not this video. Uh, and at the beginning of his video, he put out, pulled out a pipe. That's a little freaky to say. He pulled out a pipe. Um, it was a Ronaldo. He did not tell me the model. I had to use the Google box and the interwebs in combination and discover what kind of fife it is. It was the Ronaldo Lithos. It was beautiful. I liked it. I wanted a bent. I now have a bent. Problem is, I didn't want to buy a Ronaldo Lithos because I knew that there is a man out there. I think he's in Montana. I should verify that. You think I'd know by now? Yeah, Wolf Creek, Montana, American Smoking Pipe Company. I'll cover that. He misspelled my name, but I don't care because he made me the pipe of a lifetime. I knew he could make it. I knew he could make it in a way that I would love and I could give some detail to him that this pipe would become mine and it would not become a Ronaldo Lithos. But it would be everything that I loved about the Ronaldo Lithos, but still be a Colin Kelly. My idea, his craftsmanship, my happiness. So, found the Ronaldo Lithos. I sent it to Mark Tinsky. Mark Tinsky said, great shape. I like it. Let's make that happen. I'll get working on it, he said. He asked me if I wanted it like the pictures, because I sent him some pictures off of smoking pipes. I did not. I wanted my own. I told him what I wanted. He decided, that sounds great, which he always does. And he made it for me, because that's the kind of guy Mark is. AmericanSmokingPipes.com. Mark Tinsky, that guy, is awesome, awesome, awesome. Great to work with. We'll give you precisely what you wanted. What I did not want on the Ronaldo Lithos was a silver band. I said, Mark, I'd like something in green instead of a silver band. I got the silver band on this. I really like it. I didn't want it on this bent. He said, I've got some green Cumberland. How'd you like that? I said, that sounds wonderful. He said, I'll make your pipe. He always does. He made my pipe about three days later. He sent me pictures. I said, I love it. He said, pay me. I said, I will pay you. He said, I will mail it to you. It took a day. I have left this in the box because I knew that other pipe was coming and I waited. So my version of the Ronaldo Lithos as done by Mark Tinsky, the way I wanted it. Amber stem. And there you go. There it is. Can you see that green? I got green instead of silver. So beautiful diamond stem coming all the way, or beautiful amber stem coming down to a diamond. I'm having a tough time manipulating this into the camera. Apparently I'm slightly off today. It's been a long work day. Diamond shape on the shank. You can see that. This is a coral. He has blasts. He has coral cuts. My phone's ringing. Thankfully, you can't hear it. There it is. Mark Tinsky. 2015 on that side. Coral. On that side and his signature, along with uh, the Mark Tinsky American Smoking Pipe star. I am fascinated. This will be a wonderful pipe as every Tinsky that I've ever gotten has been. It's funny. More stuff. I'm not trying to flip you guys off. Maybe I should do the two fingers again. I got some blackness out of here. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't smoke it. I'm sure that's a construction work. But... That's it. 
It's similar in bowl shape to my author, but it is not. It has that nice crown on it. It is coraled. You can see the designs on there. I absolutely love this. I really wish you could see this green uh, better. It's a green Cumberland, so it's not super vivid green. But I think you could probably see the reflections off of there. This is precisely the smoking device I sought from Mark. Yeah, I'm modeling it for you. I love it. I love every pipe that Mark has done for me. You guys want to get a hold of a pipe from a guy. And there's still some guys out there I want to get pipes made from. Um, Paul, uh, Joe Case, I already have my Rick Black. Uh, there's some other guys out there. I'm not trying to leave anybody out. There's a lot of great craftsmen out there that I love to get a pipe from. Just haven't yet. But Mark has, this is my fourth Tinsky. Um, I know I'm going to bite my tongue. Later on, I'm going to get creamed over this one. Wasn't supposed to buy any. Couldn't resist getting Mark to make this. I need to stop again. Stop buying pipes. I just got a bag of Penzance, 8 ounces. That's my cross off the list item. That's covered. I got the uh, Villager After Dinner that Public Piper recommended. That's a cross off the list item. I have enough Stonehaven to feel that I can cross that off the list. And like this, two more pipes. Wanted to share them with you. Wanted to share you. Share you. I want to share you guys. I wanted to walk my way through my thought process of uh, how I came about getting these two pipes. Um, we all have our own ways, reasons, inspirations. That was mine. Uh, it's as simple, again, as social media reaching out and pulling me into the commerce stream and making a purchase of a pipe. But I can tell you as I hold this in my hand and it's super light and super perfect, I have zero regrets. If I was that guy in that movie, I'd have a no regrets tattoo right across my, right across here. No R-A-G-R-E-T-S. My wife understands. She'll growl behind the scenes, but it's cool. She loves me. We're okay. Those are my two new pipes. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep putting out the videos. I'm enjoying them. I hope that some of you guys that haven't posted in a while come back. I miss some of you guys. David Mullen, I know you're out there. A uh, couple of guys I'd like to see come back. You know who you are. Where's Alex Bird been? Haven't seen him in a while. I'd like to see him back. I know he had that episode with the Nameless. I'd um, like to see him back. A couple of guys I want to see come back. So anyhow, there's my contribution to the day. I'll see you guys in a week or two when I think of some stuff that uh, makes my videos worthwhile so I don't waste your time. Thanks for watching.